I was making this tabletop recently and I used a couple of techniques in this build that really, really helped. And I wanted to share that with you. So that's what I'm going to do. You know how when you're making a table, you're trimming it to size and you cut through some hardwood like this and you get lots of smoking and burning like you just saw? Uh, yeah. It's not fun to sand off. So an easy thing to do is leave a little bit of extra room, move your track over after you make that cut just enough to do a cleanup pass and you'll remove all of the burning. Oh, and hey, before I tell you this other trick, go ahead and get subscribed to my channel if you're not already. It's easy, just click the button. I wanted to have a really large chamfer on the underside of my tabletop, but I don't have a large chamfer bit. So the router was out, I was not able to use that Here's what I did. I took my track and I spaced it off the edge of my table a specified amount. I actually don't even remember the amount that I did on this one. I think it might have been a half inch. You can decide what looks best for the table that you're doing. The proportion that I try to keep in mind is I want the angle to start and take up about two thirds of the thickness of the tabletop. So I want one third to remain vertical and then that angle to start going down at the two thirds mark. Then I just tilted my saw to 45 degrees and kind of locked it into the track to make sure that that angle would stay the same. Obviously you could choose a different angle here if you wanted to, you don't have to use 45 degrees, but I just happen to like the way that looks. Having already trimmed the tabletop to the width and length that I needed, just like I told you before, I didn't use the method of bumping the track over and getting rid of the burning. I found that there was not a lot of burning and it would not have caused me a ton of excess sanding. And just look at that profile. I love the way this looks. It gives a really light feel to the edge of a table. So try it out on your next table. If you don't have a router or a router bit that is big enough, just like I didn't, grab your track saw, get to work, and enjoy. <laughs> 